All right, everyone, welcome back to another top 10 video. This time we're still continuing the Redux series for two colors. We have Simic this time around. And then after this video, I will sometime soon start up the three color top 10s. So number 10 here, we have Simic Ascendancy. Really cool win con. And I mean, for just two mana, it's going to sit out there. You're going to collect more counters on your creatures. And in Simic, you have a ton of ways of doing this. Once you have 20 counters on Simic Ascendancy, you win the game. You're also helped out a little bit because it has has that activated ability where you could just put a counter on a creature so it makes it so much easier to get to that 20. Number nine we have Master Biomancer. All of your creatures are going to enter the battlefield with extra plus one plus one counters equal to its power making it incredibly abusable because in the same strategies you can copy your Master Biomancer since it's not legendary you can just have several Master Biomancers getting more plus one plus one counters and then all of your creatures are going to enter with an insane number of plus one plus one counters. Pretty fun with some combos but even if you don't combo it's still incredibly powerful number eight we have prime speaker vanifar essentially just a birthing pod on a creature that could also be your commander birthing pod is an insane card and putting that ability on a creature doesn't make it any less good if anything it's even better but you're going to get rid of a creature you're going to sacrifice something and then you're going to look for another creature converted mana cost one plus that converted mana cost so yes, you do have to build your deck around it a little bit. You have to know exactly what kind of creatures are in there. But you could pretty much have like a good toolbox deck where you're just getting answers, you're solving problems. Maybe you need a Rex Age. Pretty solid commander option. And then number seven, we have Krufix, God of Horizons. Mana doesn't leave, it just becomes colorless, which is incredibly powerful with things like the Eldrazi. If you're floating just nothing but a bunch of colorless mana, you're also going to benefit from mana sinks. We have Helix Pinnacle, cards like that, where... <laughs> That's all you want is a bunch of excess mana. Makes a decent commander option for that reason. You could just fill your deck with massive spells and just a bunch of mana sinks. But even as just another spell in your deck, still pretty powerful. Number six, we have Thrasios Triton Hero. Probably one of the better partner commanders. The ability is so subtle, but yet so impactful. For four mana, you're scrying one. Then you reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you put it onto the battlefield tapped which is useful in landfall strategies, which is useful in just any kind of control deck. Scrying and getting to your lands quickly makes it a lot easier to do everything else. And as I said before with Crewfix, just take advantage of mana sinks like this because it's a pretty good one. You can get them out there pretty early and you can really just set a good pace. Number five is Plasm Capture. Now this card is just fantastic. And if you like mana drain, this is basically mana drain. You're going to be paying two green mana in addition to the normal cost, but the reward is once you get to your turn after you counter their big spell, you're going to have a ton of mana to work with and probably set yourself up to win the game. I think Simic has some pretty underrated counter spells, and this is one of them. Highly recommend it if you don't play it. And yes, I do value my removal and my counter spells a little bit higher than some other cards people might value, but that's just me. And then number four is Prime Speaker Zigana. Has been and will continue to be one of the best creatures in Simic, entering the battlefield and drawing you an insane number of cards. It doesn't really matter how big your creatures are. Let's say on average you just have three power out there. You're still going to draw four cards for one creature you're entering the battlefield so it's total impact it can refill your hand and then some if you have ways of blinking it because this is on an etb we're not even talking about kozilek you can take advantage of this ability and draw an insane number of cards get to pretty much everything you want to get to and then win the game it also makes everything in your plus one plus one counter strategy deck a lot better because you have a creature that instantly gets a bunch of plus one plus one counters so your simic ascendancy is more viable as a win con overall it combines a pretty good strategy and plus one plus one counters with a ton of card draw. Number three is Oko, Thief of Crowns. Probably what many would consider to be one of the best Planeswalkers ever made. Its impact in standard and smaller formats is undeniable. And while I don't think it's quite as dominant in Commander, it still can shut down certain decks. It's pretty powerful when you have what is the best way of dealing with commanders, turning them into elks, turning them into pretty much anything but what they normally are, keeps your opponents from taking advantage of their abilities, because once it's an elk, it can't really do anything. They have to find some way of destroying 
destroying it, killing it, doing whatever, because while it's an elk, it's pretty much useless. Now, the plus and the minus, or at least the food plus, the one that gets you plus two, it's not really that relevant. It just helps you out with the minus so that you can just give up a food token so you can gain control of a creature. Also pretty underrated, but the fact that you have a plus that can pretty much neuter a commander makes Oko incredibly strong. Number two, we have Void Slime. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, counter spell ever made. You can counter an activated or triggered ability, which pretty much means you can counter anything, so long as it's not a mana ability. You have pretty much what is an answer to whatever problem you might be facing. So if it's an activated ability that costs a bunch of mana, and your opponents are looking to win the game, you have at least one way of stopping that. In worst case scenario, it's just a three mana counter spell. And one of the things I value is just versatility and options. Void Slime is one of those cards that just offers you nothing but options. So before I go on to number one, I want to talk about some honorable mentions here. We have Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. I thought this was a really good creature, maybe not something I would personally play. After all, I didn't really get a chance to play with it that much, but it has the good ETB of letting you draw a card and put a land into play. We have Kaidel Chosen of Crufix, really sweet if you want a bunch of colorless mana. Same thing with Crufix, is that you get a bunch of that mana. You could feed it into your mana sinks. We have Karuga, the Macro Sage. I love the companions, I just don't think this was really enough to stand out for the top 10. I mean, Prime Speaker Zagana is still insanely good compared to really anything else that can get you a bunch of card draw. So number one, we have Tatiova Benthic Druid. Without a doubt, since Dominaria, this card has just taken control of Commander and has been one of the more consistently played ones. She has a pretty powerful ability where whenever a land enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you gain a life. That's it, that's the creature pretty much, but that kind of consistency affords you the ability to climb back into whatever game you might be in. Kind of like the Gitrog monster in Golgari, you just have an engine here, and the engine isn't overwhelmingly powerful, but it's just how well everything else interacts with it. On its face, it's an uncommon creature, and you know exactly why. In a limited setting, this isn't something that's super easy to take advantage of, but when you can build a 99 card deck around it, you can really make things happen. You can gain a bunch of life, and you can get a bunch of card draw. So anyway guys, let me know what you think about the top 10 cards in Simic. Void here signing off, see you all next time.